Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Basically, this should be the last Christmas card in my series this year. And yes, uploading this on Christmas Day. I had to hold off on sharing this one because I didn't want my oldest kids seeing this as it gives away one of their gifts. But anywho, I am prepping all of these die cuts when I plan on doing multiples or I'm doing a ton of die cutting for one card, I like to trim out just all the scraps. I use my scraps first before I even cut into any large pieces of cardstock. I trim out all the scraps first and kind of, you know, form a game plan of how how I'm going to place all these dies and like where I'm going to die cut, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, because that just makes everything go a lot smoother. Plus then I can put away like all the actual full packs of cardstock so they're not sitting on my desk. So I am using Simon Says Stamps Picture Book Deer Wafer Die. This came out a few years ago, still available. I'm also using the CZ Design Love You Wafer Die. I'm using a couple of Snowflake Wafer Dies. And then I'm running these all through my Gemini Go machine because it's smaller, it's convenient. And I like when I'm doing lots of little die cuts. I like having this machine because it's just faster than using the full size, you know, the Gemini or the Gemini Junior or whatever die cut machine. So I am doing all of my die cutting. And another perk of having like an electronic machine is while it's running through the dies and the plates and whatnot, I can be, you know, popping out little interior pieces and basically multitasking. So that's what I'm doing. I am using just a variety of scraps of cardstock as well as um, my just ultimate favorite, uh, Tonics Gold Pearl. I've also listed my sandwich plate here just for reference. This is the sandwich plate I use regardless of which Gemini machine I'm using. Um, the only thing I'll do differently sometimes is I won't use the metal shim. Um, other times I will also, like with the snowflakes, I actually added a little cardstock shim. Now adding that cardstock shim, it does cause my plates to warp, like my cutting plate to warp a lot, but I found it still die cuts perfectly. And by adding that little cardstock shim, I only do this with anything super intricate like the snowflakes. Um, it cuts through like butter. I don't have to do it very often, just every once in a while. I didn't even realize I had it in there until I was like paying attention to the sandwich stack so I could list it for you guys. And I was like, oh, there's a piece of cardstock in here. And I was like, eh, whatever. Anyway, after I did all of my die cutting, so I got all my little pieces, I actually took the scrap that I die cut the picture book deer from, and I'm just tracing that piece onto some copy paper. You could use cardstock, whatever floats your boats. I've shown multiple ways of assembling these little picture book characters in a bunch of videos. I've done, um, what I used to always do was I would adhere everything just directly to the copy paper and then trim it out with my scissors. That works really, really easily because, and that's why I use copy paper because it's just quick and simple and I'm not having to cut through a thick layer of cardstock. And then other times I'll flip everything over and I'll adhere it with like washi tape. That works really well too. Just kind of whatever works. I just decided with this deer, the easiest thing to do would be to trace out the outline and then I cut inside the lines so that none of that paper is going to stick out past the you know edges of this deer and then I'm adding my I'm just using craft tacky adhesive added that to the paper and then I'm just popping all the little pieces into place I like using my jewel picker for this especially for all the little you know small pieces like the interiors of the ears and then the little eyes and nose and whatnot it just makes things go so much faster and this they all just kind of come together pretty quickly really the most time consuming part is just die cutting you know multiple times to get all the little pieces from whatever you want so I assembled the deer and then there is a separate little wafer die in that set that uh, there's two separate wafer dies there's one that die cuts the antlers and then one that die cuts the little scarf so I got everything assembled and then to assemble, like to add little antlers, all you have to do is add a little dab of adhesive, like they're connected, which is really nice. So I just add that little dab of adhesive, pop that behind his head, and then same thing with a scarf. Add a little bit of adhesive, stick them on. The scarf I die cut from some pattern paper. So this, like, this is a Christmas card. 
they're literally Christmas cards for a Christmas gift. However, you could quickly switch out, like not use Christmas themed pattern paper and just use whatever. It could be winter themed. Just this is definitely a gift that could be for any occasion. You could use a different little character, whatever. But because this was a Christmas gift, I thought it'd be really cute with the deer and the scarf. And then I'm using this pattern paper, which is from the Pebbles Merry Little Christmas 6x6 pack. I just really liked the, there's like foil accents, like that's what the red is. It's got ho 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 all across it in like a gold foil. So I, that's why I used the tonic gold pearl satin cardstock for my snowflakes and for um, the sentiment and whatnot, because just to kind of pull in more of that gold, because I love gold. What can I say? It's pretty. <laughs> so I adhered all of my like base for my card front. So the pattern paper, then I had some pink cardstock and some white cardstock, just graduating sizes of rectangles, basically. And then I adhered my snowflakes. And then for the deer, I'm popping this up with some thin 3D foam squares, just to give it that little extra bit of dimension. So I'm going to pop that into place. And then the sentiment is the CZ Design Love You uh, wafer die set. This also came out a year or two, a couple years ago. I've used this in so many videos. It's still a favorite of mine. So after I adhered the two layers of that together, I am backing this with just Derice foam strips, the, the narrow foam strips. And if you peel the backing off them, they're completely flexible. So I can just move them around and put foam tape all across the back of that. And then I'm popping that into place. And then for the sentiment, I'm using the CZ Design Love You Like stamp set. This is one of my absolute favorite sets because it just works. And there's so many like quirky, I guess you could call them, sentiments in it that just, you know, like they're, this is what inspired the entire thing is there's a sentiment in it that says like Spotify. So love you like Spotify. And the whole point of these cards was my fiance got my oldest kids uh, Spotify premium subscriptions for Christmas. So I, well, God is all technically because it's like the family plan, whatever. But I was like, you know, I need cards to go with this rather than just, you know, saying you got this, you can actually physically give them something and, you know, just makes it a little more special for Christmas. So I thought I'd make these cute little custom cards for him to give them. So I stamped that like Spotify sentiment just onto some like kind of evergreen color cardstock with clear embossing ink. And then I stamped another sentiment at the same time, just using my mini Misty. And I'm coating these sentiments with Simon's gold embossing powder. So once I've got these sentiments um, coated with that embossing powder, I'm going to melt these with my heat tool, letting the heat tool warm up a little bit, and then just bringing it to the cardstock, melting the embossing powder. And then I just turn it back and forth in the light to make sure that everything is smooth and melted and shiny and not grainy because you want to make sure obviously that all the embossing powder is melted. So once it's all melted, I can trim these down with my paper trimmer. So they're in like just narrow little strips. So I just flip everything around. I'm just using my little Tim Holtz guillotine paper trimmer here. So I get all my sentiments trimmed out and then I'm going to pop on the like Spotify sentiment with um, more of that Doris foam tape. So the front of the card says, love you like Spotify. So pop that into place. And then on the inside of the card, I am using up some more of the pattern paper. So I'm using up some of the striped pattern paper that I used for the scarf. And then I cut down the little bit remaining of the red pattern paper. So I'm gonna just kind of hear these in the inside of the card. And then I also die cut another little snowflake just to add, you know, that little extra something. So I adhere my pattern paper, I'm going to adhere my snowflake, and then I'm going to adhere the last little sentiment, which is, and that, that just says, and that's a whole lot. So it kind of ties it all together and then still leaves space to write what the actual gift was. So after I did that, I just flipped over my card base here and trimmed off the bits of pattern paper that are kind of hanging over the edge. And then I'm going to add adhesive to the back of my card front. And then I'm going to adhere this into place and these cards will technically be complete, but I wanted to add one last little bit, which is um, using my Jelly Roll black glaze pen on the eyes and the nose of these die cut deer. It's a very subtle thing. It doesn't add a whole lot when it's like die cut black cardstock, but it does give it that raised little bit of shine. And again, it's subtle, but I kind of like how it looks. So dab that on to the eyes and nose, and then I just gotta let these dry. 
and then these cards will be complete. So as always, there will be links below the video to my blog post. I'll have a supply list, links to everything that I use. You can check that out below and on my blog if you're interested. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy day if you don't celebrate. I hope everyone's having just a really great time. And thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs upping, commenting. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.